what's up all um so today i have a video for you guys today um regarding cigarettes however it is not regarding this pack of cigarettes which is actually i'm gonna get a cigarette out of here but today i recently um had to empty out my ashtray or well really should have emptied out my ashtray but i noticed again because i've mostly like 99 percent, i've only been smoking these and every time you smoke these, you have to waste a little bit of the tobacco. And I was sitting in there, and I was, like, looking at all the cigarette butts that I had in there of tobacco that hadn't been smoked and actually was in... Here, let me re-angle this a tiny bit. Um, anyway, that hadn't been smoked. And I was like, that's a lot of tobacco just to waste and go dump in the woods. Because if it's, like, a uh, parliament or a filtered... There's not really a way to get like that tiny bit of tobacco because on these the filter extends a little bit so there's barely any tobacco in there but with these unfiltered um there is quite a bit at least for me that uh gets unsmoked and so what i did was is i got a little ziploc bag walked out here and i will continue talking as i open this anyway walked out here and was like okay i'm gonna pick the best looking uh, cigarette butts and save them so I can roll them and roll my own and buy cigarette paper along with one of those cheap little uh, raw rolling machines which I mean let's get real guys those raw rolling machines are really meant for weed but uh, you can use them for tobacco as well but um, yeah and again I'm just looking to make sure again guys I'm very picky about how I open my sock packs like I almost have C uh, or OCD when it comes to opening these, because like if I rip that seal whatsoever, I'm gonna be pissed. But anyway, I didn't rip the seal. But, so I took them inside, I took my switchblade, which you guys have seen in a video that I did months past ago, and started, you know, like these, like I'll use this as an example. This is one I didn't actually use because it's kind of nasty and old and has been sitting out here for a while. And I would cut it open and take all the tobacco out and honestly, guys, I'll go ahead and just show you the tobacco I have. So this is how much tobacco I got out of all those cigarettes that I had not finished smoking quite all the way. And guys, that is a lot of fucking tobacco. I did not expect just with the like 30 that I saved, or maybe it was more like 15 to 20, I would get this much tobacco. But that is several cigarettes worth, worth of tobacco. And of course, I'm keeping it um, in a Ziploc bag and trying to keep as much air away from it even though there is a little bit of air in there right now which i will work tonight to get more of the air out but tomorrow i plan once i go into work again because uh, i did finally get a covid test and i tested negative so that's good so i guess i never had covid but i never got an antibody test so i still could have possibly gotten covid in the like months past and not known about it but okay i'm kind of damaging my cigarette pack there Anyway, let's go ahead and get one of these boys out. But yeah, so that's what I've honestly decided to start doing. And that's why I'm titling this video, Why I Have Decided to Start Smoking Rollies to an Extent. And it's not like I'm going to buy some of the cheap Bugler's tobacco and just roll that and say, Oh, this is the best tobacco ever. No, no. If I'm rolling tobacco, I want to save my cigarette butts and get the most out of what I'm paying even though it's only $4 where I live, which to some of you, you're like, damn, I wish I lived in his area and could get unfiltered premium cigs for that cheap. But I like the toasted flavor of the tobacco of Lucky Strikes. So, and I'm also going to be doing this with the Pall Malls and everything, and I'm just mixing it all up. So like there, it's not going to be quite as toasted as um, if I had just used Lucky Strike butts, because guys, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, there were, I think, about four or five Camel cigarettes um, that wound up in there as well that I've been smoking, or more like probably 10 to 15. Um, so yeah, I, I actually, I probably had close to 40 um, cigarette butts in here, maybe. I, I really don't know, because I, I, I didn't count them. I just grabbed all the ones that were in the best condition, which was the large majority of them, because re as of recently, I started smoking more again, which I really shouldn't be. And as always, I'm going to go ahead and preface this video now. I do not condone smoking to anyone under the age of 18. And if you are under the age of 18, um, peace out, homie. <laughs> 
But uh, anyway, so yeah, because what also inspired this a little bit is when I was younger, when I first started smoking, I watched like uh, World War One movies and World War Two movies and like especially Enemy of the Gate at the Gates, which has Jude Law in it. There's one scene where the, uh, you know, Nazi sniper is smoking his expensive German cigarette and leaves, you know, about the same amount as I've been leaving on the ground and he starts picking them up and when he's on the way to meet Nikita Khrushchev um he winds up he winds up lighting that used cigarette that someone else had smoked you know the Nazi sniper and started smoking it and I was like yo you know what I might should uh be more frugal or not frugal with my money uh less frugal I think because I believe frugal means you spend a lot I think correct me if I'm wrong in the comments guys um, and also I want to just, uh, preface this video as well. I am going to have another video coming out tonight because I need you guys' help with something and I will explain why. And it is related to these, uh, tobacco things. But, anyway. So yeah, that movie, movies like World War One, World War Two movies where they're very, like, tobacco is, you know, scarce and is a, uh, very sought after commodity. I was like, you know what? Since cigarettes are probably due to the hyperinflation that's inevitably going to be happening now because of my government's reckless money spending. I might as well save my cigarette butts and try to re-pack um, them. Now... I know Jacob fucking Jones made a video where he reused a filter that had already been used. To me, that's honestly pushing the disgusting barrier a little bit too far, too far for my personal tastes. But if it doesn't have uh, a filter, then, and you can just get literally just tobacco. I mean, this honestly looks like pipe tobacco almost. Then I'm inevitably going to use it. But I just really hope that shit doesn't, uh, lose its moisture. However, I do know how to refresh the tobacco um, if it does somehow. Because some of those that's mixed up in there were very moist and part of that has to do with this ashtray sits outside. It never hits the, the direct sunlight, but it sits outside all the time. So, um, and as of right now, we are currently experiencing rainstorms from Hurricane Ida, which is making, or what's left of Hurricane Ida, and that's making the air very humid, uh, especially in late summer. You get a lot of rain and shit like that, at least in my area. And uh, that's keeping the air very humid, which in turn is keeping the tobacco very humid. Now, I don't know because it's a different type of humid than the uh, humidors uh, that you'll go in. Because normally, at least humidors that I've been in are like, you know, they're not like 85, 90 degrees inside of a humidor. Even though they're, you know, very humid in there they're not they're more like 60 degrees or you know kind of like a cool humid um shady type thing but again it this cigarette ashtray being under a carport is uh, very shady i'm sure if i had this sitting out in the direct sunlight none of this tobacco would even be really smokable anymore but if i want to know what you guys think if i should start um, doing this more often, which I honestly plan to. Again, granted, $4 for a pack of these, 2 to $4, that's really fucking cheap. Like, I honestly don't even need to be saving it. But I'm still going to be saving more money than I would if I was throwing these away. Because, again, if I was throwing those butts away, all this tobacco would be gone and just tossed. So I figure um, I should save at least a little bit and, you know, see if I can't figure out how to you know, preserve that, uh, toasted flavor and just roll my own. And again, like, uh, cigarette paper is dirt cheap. Where I'm at, it's like probably 50 cents for a pack of like 200 cigarette papers or something. So, again, guys, tomorrow I will be buying cigarette paper for my tobacco store. And then come Friday is when I get paid. And by then, I'm hoping that the tobacco store will have my um, Paul Mall non-filtereds and because I really still uh, want to review those and try them because those you get even more tobacco with and again I mainly smoke unfiltered cigarettes 
So I will be doing this with both the Pall Malls, Lucky Strikes, as well as the Camels. Um, but that's why I mixed those uh, Camels in, because... Get the fuck out of my face. There's a mosquito. But, um, again, I mixed those Camels in because the Camels, honestly, like, I have two or three Camel cigarettes left in that original pack, and they are stale as hell because they are over a year and a half old um, from when they were made, and I've had them open for almost three weeks now, so... But again, guys, I can guarantee you this isn't going to taste as good as this fresh pack, getting that fresh, fresh toasted tobacco flavor. But I, I'm sure I'll be able to pick up on the uh, toasted flavors a little bit of those cigarettes, because again, the vast majority of that tobacco in there is Lucky Strikes, because again, that's my main go-to cigarette right now. And as long as they're going to be cheap in my area, it's going to be my go-to cigarette. It's just a fantastic cigarette. Again, I've never had a cigarette quite like a Lucky Strike. And um, a viewer of mine who I've been talking to um, in the comments back and forth mentioned that back a few years ago he got to um, try, what is it, Chesterfield Unfilters, which sadly they quit making back in 2015, or not 2015, 2018, they quit making those. So I was like, you're lucky. Because I really did, did want to, at some point, try Chesterfields, because that's the cigarette. The original Chesterfield Unfiltered were the cigarettes Ronald Reagan did advertisements for and smoked a lot of. So. But, yeah. And that buzz is starting to hit me. I haven't smoked a cigarette here for a few hours now. But again, a good Lucky Strike buzz, you will be good. And at some point um, in the near future, um, probably Thursday, I'm going to have a video um, what I am actually sending to Zippo Fanatic. Because uh, initially, again guys, I was going to send a pack of these to them. However, um, a person, I guess, who actually lives in Canada, just like Zippo Fanatic, told me you got to be really careful sending shit like this to Canada because they'll seize the package and completely destroy the package. And if I have Zippos in there with it, especially that Steely um, that I want to send him um, to add to his collection, um, that would suck a lot. So, so he was like, yeah, dude, I, I would not send tobacco. So when me and Zippo Fanatic one day meet in person, that is when I will bring probably several packs of Lucky Strikes to give them. Again, especially if I can still get them for this cheap um, in the future. But I still have no idea why the owner of that tobacco store wanted to charge me 10 bucks each pack of cigarettes, which again is supposed to be the actual price of these technically. However, they get them for much cheaper than that. But even the pack of Parliament, which were a light cigarette, he was like, yeah, that'll be $10. And I was getting two packs of these, $10 each. He was like, he said the grand total is going to be like 32 bucks for three packs of cigarettes. I was like, I mean, even if he, you know, hadn't, because again, the owner is the guy who I told you guys about who won't sell to me till I'm 21. Honestly, I'm just not going to buy from the owner of that store because, again, I really don't, I, I can't afford... Um, to smoke these every day if I'm paying 10 bucks a pack. Now, to do that review of those cigarettes, which unfortunately were kind of old from that grocery store, I paid $9 even for that pack, but, I mean, 10 bucks a pack, that's getting expensive. But, again, once I'm in there, Again, once I get paid, I am going to also purchase the rest of the carton of these. So I'll have a carton minus four packs because I've been the only one. They literally told me, again, I'm the only person who comes in there specifically wanting these cigarettes. So, but anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Since I'm just about done with this cigarette, I'm going to finish it off camera. But um, if you like the video, like, share, comment, subscribe. Anything you do helps. And I'll see you in the next video, which should be out in an hour or two.